Good morning guys from this beautiful island here in Copenhagen, Thailand. Today is going to be a very exciting video. I'm going to talk about Cash App from Square and how much revenue Bitcoin made for them. I'm going to talk about the EU predicting this huge economical crisis now for the next couple of months. We are going to talk about mining and which countries mining is big at the moment and how you can even see this now on this very beautiful interactive map. Then we are also, of course, going to speak about the Nevos blockchain that will make it able for you guys to start up your own blockchain project because they are doing a 5 million incubator. You can get 100k to start your project. Maybe you can even combine this with living here on this beautiful island in Thailand in the house of Dao. And we will end the video, of course, with the Bitcoin price. And this is a perfect storm that is going to be set up on the weekly chart. And there is a perfect storm setting up on the weekly chart that will have a huge positive influence on the Bitcoin price. This video is a must see, guys. And yes, I'm also going to walk across a sand bank to an island in the middle of the sea. You will enjoy this. This is so beautiful here, Koma Beach, Copangan, Thailand. Again, a must see this video. Watch it now. sand is a little bit different it's not as white as other beaches but still an amazing beach the sun is not up yet because I'm up really early and far in the back you can see the sand bank running into that island I will take you guys there at the end of the episode first the Bitcoin news guys it's not going to be a very long video as I can see on the YouTube analytics you prefer videos uh, to the max of 15 minutes. I've made some videos till 18, 20 minutes. They are less viewed than the shorter ones. So I will try to keep it shorter. Um, so you can watch the video during the making and drinking of your coffee in the morning. Do you know Cash App guys from Square? They announced just that they had 530 million revenue. And the cool thing about this revenue is that over the 300 million of this revenue, was all done by Bitcoin. So this is a huge amount, which means people are really using Bitcoin nowadays. And that is really cool news. Good morning. We have some very sportive people on the beach here as well, which is amazing. I need to start sporting again. And if you guys want to make some money by working in this blockchain industry, you should take a look at Nervos. Nervos is doing a five million dollar incubator and giving away one hundred thousand dollars to all developers that want to try to build something unique on the Nervos blockchain. Check them out Nervos because if you want to make some money in this industry maybe even by traveling the world as a digital blockchain nomad now you can have a start capital of one hundred thousand dollars if you have an amazing idea to killer app on the Nervous blockchain. Check them out. The link is in the article. There is also a link to how you can apply, etc., to this beautiful incubator project of Nervous. The sun starts to shine. I can feel the warmth on my face. It is amazing, guys. The EU is predicting the worst economical recession since the Second World War. Of course, this news was not a surprise after we saw yesterday that the five biggest banks of EU saw their market cap crash with more than 50%. So I think the big recession is still there to come, which could be a negative factor for Bitcoin. Because if people don't have money to spend, if we will face this huge crash, who says that bad people will then be happy enough 
and have enough money to even invest in volatile cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and other currencies. There are some other more bearish indicators. A lot of skeptics in this industry think that Bitcoin is going down. I really don't know, but I will come back to this in a minute. There is something else I need to tell you guys, which is also really cool. There is this new company that created an online map where you can see where the Bitcoins are being mined all over the world. It's a map that takes the average of every month and you can see all the hash rates and all the mining all over the world and which countries are the leading countries in the Bitcoin mining industry at the moment. The link to this website is also in the description of this video so make sure you watch it because this is just really cool to see how many Bitcoins are mined and where they are mined and how this mining war is developing and uh, how China is still leading this war and of course they will be leading this war and keep leading this war if they just send if they just keep sending batches of ant miners that have huge failure rates of 30 <laughs> percent yeah that's my sarcasm but you know where smoke is is fire so you know maybe it's not even sarcasm maybe it's really the goal to just keep other world parts behind on mining by giving them worst failure rates in mining equipment we know who knows again like i said yesterday i think bitmain is a great company to simplify the mining industry for normal users but then also maybe they will be a little bit more focused on the chinese market than on the European or the US market. I don't know, you see my sweat? Yes, again, I'm sweating for you guys in the morning, this morning early. So guys, we have this perfect storm. If we look at the weekly candles in Bitcoin, this is huge because yes, like I said, there are many cynical people that think that Bitcoin is going to crash again to three or 4K. Of course, everything is possible. This is also possible. But if you look, if you zoom out and you look at the weekly play, then we see a lot of positive positive signs bitcoin just broke the 9200 level again which was a small small um, resistance and now we are up facing this 9500 resistance which is of course a huge resistance why and that's the reason why we didn't break it last week but it also means that bitcoin is still bullish we are still trying to break it and maybe even go to tan to 10,000 or to 10,500 dollar. I think this is one of the indicators that Bitcoin at the moment is bullish. Um, the second very bullish indicator is that the MACD cross just took place. You know, the last times the MACD cross took place, we had this insane runs of, um, I think, 1,000% in 2017 and 300% in 2019. So this MACD crossing is also an indicator that we are going to see a huge bull run soon. And then, of course, I already mentioned it in two videos, uh, two days ago in the video, the PSAR signal has just flashed. And this one has only flashed six times before. And every time in these six times since 2015, we saw a huge run up after. Last but not least, the Bitcoin just passed the 50 week moving average, the 100 week moving average, and is now also above the 200 week moving average. Guys, I cannot get more bullish because of these indicators, man. This is huge. These solid indicators are telling me that we could see a huge run up very soon. Yes, the economical crisis can influence this run up, but we, you never know because you know, because of the halving that is taking place now in like five days, Bitcoin gets a little bit more scarce, a little bit less Bitcoins are coming into the market. This will increase the value of Bitcoin. And at the same time, this will, I think, be the new start of the 18 month bull run. So really cool things. Like you probably saw, we are already walking across this sand bank and the sand bank is making now the bridge from the mainland to this beautiful island. So we are walking across a sand bank that is making a bridge to the, between the mainland and this beautiful island. 
I love Thailand. I love Koh Phangan. There are so many beautiful places here. It's just an amazing island to visit, guys. And be sure to do it. And don't forget to visit all these beautiful places I am showing you now. If you want to combine these beautiful places, living here and working, then just check houseofdao.io because that could be an amazing place where you can start building your new project funded by the Nevos blockchain and their 5 million incubator. You get 100,000 to start developing your new killer app. You do it here on the island, you decrease the cost of living, you increase the happiness in life and um, you know you will be surrounded by all blockchain and crypto minded people in the house of Dow.io, so which will create the perfect, perfect, perfect fundamentals and situation for you to work and have fun at the same time while you create a beautiful killer app that will decentralize the world a little bit more or make the world a better place to live in. Morning. Now just enjoy Morning. this beautiful view of this sandbank which is creating a bridge between the mainland and an island. We as a community, we need to create a bridge between the difficult, difficult world of blockchain and Bitcoin and simplify it by creating a bridge to the normal people so they will understand why the true fundamentals of Bitcoin really matter. This is such an amazing place, guys. I am now standing on this small island on Koma Beach. The high tide, you will see everywhere, see everywhere. And you can still walk here, but then you will be walking here like hips deep across the sandbank. So this is way more beautiful to do it with low tide. And just take some relaxing time here on this island where you can snorkel or just be in the shadow listen to some beautiful music, the nature and everything else you're surrounded by. Whoa guys, that was an amazing experience to walk this beautiful sandbank to the island. I hope you really enjoyed this video guys. If you like, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your community and please subscribe to our channel so that we get more followers. And if you even really like the video, then just hit the bell button so you will be notified by every new video I make. And I promise you guys, I'm going to show you some more beautiful, interesting places on Koh Phangan. And while doing this, just bring you the news in blockchain and Bitcoin industry and share my knowledge about life and my experience in this industry for the last almost eight years now. So yeah, that's some experience over there and many things happened in those years. Yes, and that all made us the Bitcoin family now traveling the world as a family of five supporting crypto and blockchain 24 seven to the fullest. But please guys, start to share our message so we get more followers so we can reach me up more and more people to educate them on the true fundamentals of bitcoin but also about the true fundamentals in life that will just make life a much much more beautiful and easy doable thing thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow again from maybe a new beautiful spot on pangan but maybe i even take my own beach as an office again tomorrow so that you will not get spoiled and think that I will show you these beautiful places every day. Because I'm still this lazy, long-haired dude <laughs> that doesn't want to work too hard. <laughs> Thanks guys, and see you tomorrow.